I have a small condensing unit for a wine cellar where this unit in particular was getting plugged up by lint buildup on the condensing unit. And you guys are probably wondering how did we get lint right next to that unit. Here's that unit. This is a condenser. I don't know if you can see my little arrow. You can, yeah. right? Okay, so that's a condenser. This is your compressor. So right on the opposite side, there's a wall, which I'll play the video now. And that wall has an outlet for the dryer. So there's a dryer vent outlet on that roof. As the dryer runs and the condensing unit runs, what I'm doing here is I'm showing the pressures, which you really can't appreciate on the video, but this pressure right here is too high. This pressure should have been more like between 150 and 200. This is the vent, and that's the lint. See all that lint? So what was going on previously is all that lint was coming over, and as my unit is running, well, of course, it's sucking in air through here. Mm -hmm. So the lint would just build up. And you couldn't see the lint because it, it's very fine, right? Yeah. So I decided to blow through it with nitrogen because I couldn't see any light through. That's the fan water right there. Uh -huh. So that shows the air. So the air goes from the front to the back. So uh -huh. the fan here sucks the air through the condenser. And I couldn't see any light through there. So that told me that I'm like, okay, it looks clean. But I don't think it's clean. It probably has so much uh, lint buildup in there that that's the reason why I can't see light. And based on the pressure, which was 250 pounds, as we saw, I can definitely tell that the uh, the unit was plugged up. Mm -hmm. So what I was getting ready to do next here is go ahead and clear it with nitrogen. Okay, it looks like, there it is. Looks like now I'm doing that. There you go. So that's all the lint that just built up in between these little small fins. See, that's that's a lot. So what I'm expecting to see after this is for the pressures to drop. So, um, by me cleaning out the condenser, now the unit should be able to breathe, you know, naturally as it's supposed to. But this was a summer day out on a rooftop. The rooftops are always at least 10 degrees higher than the ground temperature. These units are rated for 110 degrees, uh -huh. but when you have a 100 you know, degree day, it's gonna run warmer. But here it goes. Originally, this needle, if you remember, previously was up here. Uh-huh. 50. So we brought it down 50 pounds pressure lower than it was operating. Wow. That's just an instant big decrease. Yeah. You know, so, 150 to 200 is is normal based on the surrounding ambient air as the temperature increases the efficiency of the unit drops so this is why you very important that you know condensers are always kept clean because this is your heart of the system if this is not kept clean the efficiency is just going to go down then in return you're not going to be able to cool down your wine cellar 